the cutest thing that ever happened, ever. Uh, so that's what's happening. And now, please welcome my first guest. She crochets, she acts, she's unstoppable. It's Taylor Momsen, everyone. <laughs> They stop there, then they carry on. It's They're nice. Walford. <laughs> um, so you learned how to crochet. I did. Why, I, why did you do that? Did you think you might need it one day? or? Um, figured I needed another hobby. Yeah? <laughs> Since I'm kind of bored. I don't really do anything but work. So I needed something to do at four in the morning. Nice. So. Why four in the morning? I stay up a little too late, you know. My, my <laughs> bedtime's like 10, 11 sometimes. Uh, what time are you pushing? So it's four or five? Four or five, but then you know when I work at five, I try to go to bed a little bit yeah, earlier. Yeah, for sure, get so. those Z's in. Yeah. <laughs> um, so you turned sixteen this summer. I did. I what did. was the what was the best gift you received? Um, I didn't really get many gifts this year. I threw a party, which nice. was fun, and played with my band for a bit. But, yeah. Um, I didn't really. I don't think I got gifts this year. I got a lighter. Nice. I gave me a lighter. <laughs> As an actress, are you good at? Um, covering up when you get a rubbish gift. Because whenever I get a rubbish one, I'm like, my face can't hide it. And I'm a bit like, oh, that's really nice, thank you. Um, but what, what's your, let's say I've given you a dead pigeon, and I think it's the best <laughs> gift ever. What, what, let's see you unwrap it and, and show me your- I unwrap it? Um, yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Why is it dead? Yeah, I hate <laughs> pigeons, and I thought you might like them. Um, now, since you're a product of the 90s, you were born in 93. Yeah. Um, we're going to play a round of 90s or 09s. All right. So I'm going to give you um, some, uh, <laughs> some pictures of people, places and things, or nouns, uh, and uh, from both eras. You have to correctly distinguish whether it's 90s or 09s. All right. Or well, if so I don't do it correctly. Then yes. you'll be condemned forever <laughs> as someone who doesn't know the difference. Uh, right. Let's take a look at the first one. So someone's hair. Do you think that's 90s or 09? Can I ask audience? Yeah, sure. <laughs> what do you guys think? I have no idea. Oh, no. Now, what do you think? right? Now? Oh. What are you going to go I'm for? Like it's like Sophie's here. choice. Um, uh, I, think, I don't know. Is that. The color looks a little dated, but the cut now? Now? Now. Okay, let's take a look. Am I wrong? Yeah, Bruce Hilton, 09. You, you nailed right. it. Um, but here's the 90s version. Let's take a look at the 90s version of that hair. No? Oh yeah, Flea from Red Hot Chili Peppers doing that full look then. Okay, so, here's so it's the same thing. Exactly, <laughs> it's just being recycled. Let's take a look at another one. Uh, here you go. It's a group of cool kids. Oh, 90s, right? 90s. Okay, let's take a look. Is that uh oh right? no, what is they're that? now the retro kids. Who's they that? hang out. They like hang out downtown, looking rad. That's what they. That's what they dress like. Well, they dress like the 90s. I know. Here's, here's their no 90s counterparts. All right. Kid oh, play. Okay, okay. Looks the same I'm thing. also slightly blind. I don't wear my glasses. Oh, no. <laughs> so you're, you're there squinting. Someone yeah. should have bought you some glasses for your birthday. Uh, let's <laughs> take a look at the next one. Here we go. Plaid. What do you think? Now, right? That's Williamsburg circa 09, yeah. right? Let's take a look. Uh oh, Pearl Jam. It's the same jacket. That's, I know. This, is, this is ridiculous. You know? Uh -huh. <laughs> exactly. Let's take a look at the, the now version. I own that jacket. Yeah, there you are. See, I own the dress. You did it. You did it. Um, so you've got uh, a band called The Pretty Reckless. I do. Um, what kind of music do you play? It's rock, man. Rock? Um, yeah. It's rock. It's total rock. I'm really excited about it. I've been working um, in the studio with my production team right now yeah. with a guy named Kato Kondala. And, uh, um, his partner Ben, nice. and um, it's a lot of fun. It's we're finishing up the record right now, and uh, do you know? Do you have an album name already? I don't have an album name yet. Um, still debating on whether I'm keeping the band name. So oh, right, okay, that's all the final. I quite stuff. like that but band the, name. You do? What, else would, like you, what else would you go for? I don't know. Well, I really like the Reckless, but we're having some trademarking problems with it. So. I came up with a band name the other day because I found a cardboard keyboard in my basement, and then people at work wanted to start a band called, called that. The cardboard. Cardboard that's keyboard. That's hard to say. I, I know. It's really hard I messed to say. it up just then. Um, what was the first song that you can remember sparking your creativity and making you want to do something musical? Um, I don't know if it's one song, but um, probably the whole Abbey Road record by the yeah. Beatles was the first record I really got into. My dad played on vinyl all the time when I was younger. Nice. So I listened to all the Beatles records, but that was my favorite, probably. Very nice. And uh, what's your favorite part of, of performing live? Or do you even like that bit? Because I know I some know, people prefer the recording it's, process. It's fantastic. Um, 
No, I mean, the fans. That's the best part about yeah. performing live. I mean, I've only done one tour, and I was with the Veronicas, and uh, <clears throat> it wasn't, I wasn't touring on what the record's going to be. It was a bunch of demos and stuff. So um, I'm really excited to tour on the record itself. Which and how does, it, how does it work as an actress also being a musician? Because I know that a lot of musicians try and play a part when they're on stage because they, they hide behind a character. But I imagine as an actress already, you just play yourself singing. Yeah, I'm really excited for the record to come out because, you know, I've been acting for so long and, and really, I guess, I think a lot of people don't have the right, you know, perception of me as a person. So I'm excited to put out a record that, you know, I've worked really hard on. And What uh, kind of perception do you think people? they have of you? What's, what's well, the I, I don't know. I just don't Google yourself, man. It's evil. Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a bad um, place. It's mean. But, you know, I, I'm really excited because I, I can't wait to tour on it and then uh, have people hear it and... Which band See other it. than, I mean, you've talked with the Veronicas, but if you could um, tour with someone else, who would it be? Right now? I don't know. I mean, it, it'd probably be really cool to tour with, like, Green Day or something. Yeah. Or, you know, kind of modern rock right now, which is cool. Or, uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm sharing the studio right now that I'm working at um, on the House Loud with a band called Drowning Pool, and they're pretty cool. Nice. You know them? Pretty bleak name, though. You know, Drowning, Drowning Pool. Pool? No, I don't. I'll look them up, though. I'll yeah, they're pretty cool. They nice. were on a Headbangers Ball. I think, oh, very good. A couple. We've got to take we've got to take a break, annoyingly, but coming up, we still have uh, Taylor with us. Also, comedian Nick Crow will be here, and Victoria's Secret model Miranda Kerr will be joining me. So we'll see you after this. During Gossip Girl, she's changed quite a lot over the course of the series. Which do you prefer playing, the good girl or more of a badass? Oh, look at those pictures. Yeah. Um, you know, they're both fun to play. Jenny's evolved so much, and that's why I really liked her character. Yeah. Um, when I first read the pilot, it was because she's the character that can change the most, because she's the youngest and still figuring everything out. So um, they're both fun to play. It's, it's been a fun ride. Nice. And now, of course, a girl um, has uh, some of the best wardrobe on TV. Do you mm. ever sneak any of it home with you? Or what do they do with it? Is it in a massive vault or I something? I wish they have. Well, the wardrobe room on set is ridiculous. I mean, it's like hang clothes hanging from everywhere. You can barely walk in it. But they do a pretty amazing job of keeping it organized. I wish I could take stuff home. But they, yeah. everything goes into archive, like for the CW. And they keep it all in an archive if... Uh, Unless they're borrowed pieces that return to the designers, you know. And has it informed your own personal style at all? Are there any designers that you found out about um, through the wardrobe? No, not. I don't think so. I've, I've known a lot of the designers. The Jenny styles evolved, and I think has probably actually been influenced by me yeah. personally more than the other way around. Uh -huh. um, but and it, it's been fun. And what about the uh, uh, when you heard about the threesome affair happening on Gossip Girl? Were you? Did you like the idea that it might be you, or were you scared that it might be you? Well, I'm lucky that I get the scripts early, and yeah. uh, <laughs> I was not involved in the threesome. So you um, were like... Luckily. But no, they God. had the... Apparently, they, I guess they made it out to look like I was or something. Yeah. The ads, I just found out. Very naughty. But They'll do that. They'll like do that. Like to trick you, man. On GG. <laughs> uh, well, let's take a look at a clip from uh, tonight's episode of Gossip Girl. Where are you dragging me? Haven't you ever heard of a whispered aside? What did Eric do at Cotillion? What do you mean? I mean, I invited Jonathan for Thanksgiving and he texted me back saying he was surprised that Eric and I were still even friends after that night. Please. You of all people respect a well-thought-out sabotage. Although you came through unscathed, Eric's plan was solid. Eric's plan? Stealing your escort, leaving you stranded at the top of the stairs. It was all his idea. Very good. Taylor, thank you so much for stopping thank by. You. Um, you can see Gossip Girl on The CW Monday nights. Coming up, uh, Miranda Kerr, The Body, will be here, and funny guy Nick Kroll will be joining me, so make sure you stay tuned. <laughs>